your on-target training out here in Oregon. Anyone who knows me or watch my videos also understands that I am a huge believer in the responsible gun owner securing their firearms when they're not on their person. So I don't care if it's a big stand-up safe or a safe like this, a biometric safe, uh, something to put that handgun in when it's not on your body. Why is that important? Well, if an unauthorized person gets access to that firearm and hurts somebody else, themselves, or you, that's a big issue to me. As responsible gun owners, I think part of our job is not only to have a firearm with us to protect ourselves and our loved ones, but also when they're not physically on our person that we store them responsibly. So some kid or some drug addict or someone who breaks into your house does not have access to them. Hey folks, if you enjoy our content, Please like the video and most importantly, share it with friends and family and invite them to check out the channel. This particular safe, the Winsett, is set up with a biometric safe. So it's a code system as well as an RFID little key fob and a watch. So that's kind of slick. So I'm going to go ahead and open this little guy up. Here we go. Now you'll note in this portion of the safe right here, there is a light. And that light means in the middle of the night, if you had to open your safe for some reason, you'd be able to actually see your handgun, your flashlight and spare magazine, whatever you want to put in here. The particular safe, like many of these safes, also comes with the ability to both mount it into the wall or the floor or something like that to make sure that it can't leave easily. Or you can all, it also comes with a cable lock right here that will allow you to attach it to something else. So if it's not a traveling type of safe, and this is why I have these kinds of safe guys, is because when I'm traveling between states or something like that and that require the firearm be locked, in a safe, unloaded and locked, this type of safe is a great option. So as I mentioned, in addition to what we just saw in terms of the code opening, there's also a key fob. This is pretty slick. So the key fob right here, here, my safe is open. So that's a pretty slick little deal. There's also a watch, Again, I'm not saying I would do this because it just doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but it might work for some people. That watch would allow you to open the safe. Again, guys, if we own a firearm, we also have to secure the firearm, in my opinion, unless you're living in a place, a rural environment, somewhere where you know no one will ever break into your house and steal your firearm, or you're in a place where you live by yourself out in the middle of the woods and the only thing out there are critters and critters are not gonna come in there and steal your firearm or try to take it and use it against you. So these quickly open safes like this eliminate in my mind the pushback of saying, well, I gotta have my gun uh, available to me. We well, can have your gun available to you like instantaneously with something like this while still securing it so you're being safe, responsible, and keeping that firearm away from unauthorized users. Well, guys, uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, shout out to uh, the Winset company for asking us to test this particular safe. Again, we've been using it for a couple of weeks. I really like it. It's in my car. Throw it in. Throw it in my backpack. If I have to go into some place that says, like that courthouse or a library, or a state building that prevents me from carrying a firearm, or I'm going to walk through a metal detector. Having a safe that you can put your firearm in is a great idea rather than leaving it unattended in your car. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Finally, and as always, stay safe.